the pride of Michigan, killing it right now in the sweet science. Hello, my friend, Alicia Baumgartner. Thank you so much for joining us. This is so lovely. How are you? Feeling very undisputed. How are you? Yes, you are the undisputed. Did I not say that? You did. I okay. Did. You are the undisputed yeah. queen. Yes. I thought, you, I thought you actually ditched us. That's what they told us. Did you ditch us and come back? Because you're wearing, like, running shoes now. So now I'm like... Some heels get a... They do, yes. hurting, so I'm here now. Thank you for being here. Actually, I saw you for the first time. I met you for the first time in Dublin. We were there for the Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron fight. Um, that was incredible. And now we're here, obviously, for the Amanda Serrano fight. And you know, obviously, Jake Paul and Nathan Diaz, but I feel like you have your eye on that Serrano fight. I was talking to some of the guys on Wednesday about my dream fight for Amanda Serrano. I will admit, I'm a big Katie Taylor fan. I enjoy watching her a lot. I think she's a legend. She did a lot for women's boxing and continues to do a lot. And I said to everyone, okay, we're going to say on the count of three, what's your dream fight next if Amanda gets by Heather Hardy? What's your dream fight for Amanda Serrano? We all said three, two, one, and we all said your name. That's the fight. That's the one, right? Do you agree with me? I do. Okay. I do agree. I think that's an excellent fight. I think it's a fight that's going to show pedigree. It's going to show levels. It's going to show the good old fighting. Yes. Good old boxing. I think that's what that fight will show. Okay. Is there a chance it happens next? Absolutely. I think anything. You feel confident? Happen. Yeah. I feel like anything can happen in boxing. I know that I do have a mandatory, mm. but of course, we want the super fights, as right. you know, Eddie has mentioned before. So. Amanda Serrano is, is next who we want. Okay, and uh, I'm assuming this would be at 130, right? Yeah. Yeah? You don't have any interest in going to 126? I don't. Okay. But, I mean, it's still an option. But I like I like 130. Yes. I think um, Amanda can come up and we can um, fight for that. Okay. Now, I think that she is due for a big fight in Puerto Rico. They have a new stadium there, a new arena there. She's a big star there. How would you feel about defending your titles but in Puerto Rico? Um, I think where I'm at in my stage, I feel like that fight deserves to be in a bigger venue. I think a Vegas or a New York. I okay. think that brings more more fans from everywhere around and not so much just Puerto Rico. Okay. Don't, I don't mind it. I think that'll be a hot crowd. That it, crowd would be intense. What you think so? Oh my gosh. I just watched a pro wrestling event there, a WWE event. Okay. Bad Bunny, you know Bad Bunny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He competed. It's one of the hottest crowds that I've ever heard in my life. And I think that if there's a scenario where he walks her out, like that place will go insane. Maybe you get, you know, your, your, th I know, I know as the champion, you don't want to necessarily go to enemy territory. I get that. But I just think where would be the biggest spot for that fight? I feel like it would be there. You think so? Over yes. New York? Yes. Okay. What are we, and it's a brand new stadium. Yeah. And it's huge. It's like 18, 19,000. Do you hate this? Do you hate that I'm putting this out there? No. Okay. I mean, I think I'm, I'm not aware that they actually have a stadium. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty dope. But, I mean, I'm going to keep it in the back of my head. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I asked her about this on, on Wednesday, and she was very noncommittal. Do you think that she has interest in fighting you? I don't think so. Why not? I think she, uh, I think she understands where she's at right now in her career and what she's able to do. And right now, she, she, she's focused on the rematch with Katie Taylor. She wants to get her bag, and I think she wants to make her exit out. And, again, I think her team as well. They don't want a young bull in there with her. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm young. I'm 29. I'm in my prime. I got a lot of power. Right. And, um, you know, they, they want to make sure that their fighter can leave the sport in one piece. So the problem with that is Katie Taylor, of course, is fighting November 25th against Chantal Cameron. <sighs> it's a tough fight. It is. It's a very tough fight. And, of course, it didn't go our way. It was a close fight. We were both there. But I think the right person won. I was blown away by Cameron. If Katie loses again, could happen, don't you kind of feel like the Serrano rematch doesn't have the luster anymore? It doesn't. I think, I think that fight was a one-time fight. Hmm. You know, I think with women's, with women's boxing, we have so many big fights to make, like a, a Katie and Amanda, but why not make... Let's let, let's spread it out. Yes. Right? Let's That's have what a, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Let's you have versus a, Amanda. Yeah, me and Amanda or me and Katie. Oh. I, I, I want a piece of Katie. Why? Respectfully. Why is that? Because of who she is and what she's um, been able to do for the sport, I like her style of fighting, and I think styles make fights. And just to share the ring with her and just to, to see where I'm at yeah, really really will show where I am. Do you think Eddie would want to make that fight? I mention it plenty of times to him. What's I his response? Why not? Sure. Yeah? I think so. I think they... W 
we, it's very limited with the women right now. We only have a handful of women who are undisputed. And, you know, with the weight class for where they're at, we're able to go up and down. Sure. So why not make this fight? You know, it's interesting that you say that. I do think we're seeing, obviously, a lot of undisputed fights on the male side of things as of late. Obviously, last weekend. And, you know, we've got another one coming up September 30th. But I just feel like the men are more eager to make the big fights, even undisputed or not, Tank Garcia, etc. And I kind of feel like they saw you guys have all the big fights and the undisputed fights and you're holding four belts. And I feel like the women kind of led the way in this regard. Do you agree we, with that? We definitely yes, led the way. Yes, you deserve the credit for yes, that. Yes, we did. And I think women's boxing was, we put boxing on our back for like the end of the year last year. Yes. Like we were really, it was, it was going. We were moving, we were selling out, we were making noise and we continue to do that. And so as we continue to do that, we need to make these big fights. Did you ever take a look? We obviously cover a lot of uh, mixed martial arts here. And let's be honest, as far as women and the respect that they get, like I think MMA was a little bit ahead of boxing mm -hmm. with Ronda Rousey and all the big fights. Like you would have big UFC cards with 11 male fights and then two women at the top and no one batted an eye, no one said anything. And the UFC deserves a lot of credit, and obviously Ronda Rousey and Gina Carano before her. Did you ever look at all that as you were coming up and saying, like, I hope this happens in my sport too, that I can get an opportunity to headline big cards where it's not just an all women's card or a smaller show. Like, I want to be on the big shows and the big stages. Did you, did you see what MMA was doing? Did that give you hope about pro boxing? Yeah, absolutely. I saw it. You know, I saw the way they promoted the women. I saw that they were main events. I saw that there was co-main events. And it wasn't something out of the norm. This was normal. People were coming to see a combat sport. Whether it was a male or a female, we knew they knew they were going to have a great fight. And so as i growing in, this, in my pro career, I'm like, man, I want that. I can have that. We can get there. And we, we've came very close. I mean, we're there. I mean, yeah. we, we have main events. We had co-main events at the O2 Arena. That was all women's car. We did amazing. And that was great. I loved it. How much has life changed for you since you beat Michaela Mayer? Life has just been great. You know, it's it's been progressive. You know, beating Michaela was just another accomplishment in my life. But it only gets better from, from there, right? And it just... It, it was more respect that mm. was given because a lot of people maybe didn't know me or they did know me and was waiting for me to have an opportunity like that to prove to the world why I was who I was and why I was going to, going to beat Michaela Mayer. You guys sold that fight incredibly well. Much, I, I, You know, I love pro wrestling as well and I love the art of selling fights and pageantry and all that stuff and you guys did a tremendous job. Do you have any interest in ever revisiting that fight? Maybe in a different way, class, I don't know. Do you, like, because the feud was great. I just don't know if you want to just run it back because, you know, you won fair and square. And yeah, I would on. love to run it back okay. just to hit Michaela Mayer in the face <laughs> one more time would be excellent. I think we built a great fight. I think people would love to see a second fight. You know, she believes she still went, she won till this day. Really? I know that I beat still. this. Still. Still. When you see her, like, you, did you see her in Dublin? I didn't. You never saw oh, her? Oh, yeah, yeah. A glance. I, I did, did see you, her. Did yes. you guys she say anything? Commenting. No, we never do. No, no, like, no. friendship? No. The beef is still there? The beef is still there. Really? It's Why is it still high. there on your end? You you beat her. Listen, I'm I'm chilling. I'm okay. I'm cool. But just to think that someone still beat me and they're that bitter, I uh, want to fight you again. I'll really? fight you again. You think she would do it? Yeah, I mean, she claims that she would do it. You know, I will even move up to 135 to fight Michaela. She made it a big issue that weight was something she couldn't right. make. Well, I'll go to 35 and fight you and still beat you. So however she wants to do it, I'm willing to do it. How was it fighting back home last month? Everything. A dream. You know, your homecoming fight is something that you look forward to. I know there was like some homecoming juju on everybody. I'm like, that's not going to happen for me. This yeah. is this is my moment. It was It was a fight that I was able for the first time. I had peace. It was quite weird at first because I'm like, am I supposed to be like a little nervous? I'm like, but I was at peace. My family, my friends came out. It was a great show. I'm fighting Leonardo too, the girl that gave me my first loss. It's coming around full circle. I'm a completely different fighter. I'm the undisputed champion. It just, everything worked in my favor and it was, it was just a great time to reflect on. By the way, is, is Clarissa really fighting Keith Thurman? What is going on here? I saw you believe that. this I'm stuff? Like, social media will sell you a dream. Yes. Okay. This so, can't be real, right? Listen, I saw Keith talking about it, it being maybe a charity event. So Do you have any I'm interest like, in this? Um, no, I don't. No. I don't think 
that Clarissa needs to prove herself to anybody. She's already proven enough who she is in the sport. And I think, you know, fighting Keith Thurman, what does that do? Right. Well, what, what are you trying to be? Are you trying to be superior? Are you trying to compete with the man? I'm, not, I'm never trying to compete with the man. I know my position, and my position is a great one, okay, because I'm a queen. Yes, well said. Uh, just a couple more, and I'll let you go. This has been great. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Shadeja Green is fighting on this card tomorrow night. I think she wants maybe Savannah Marshall and then Clarissa. Can she beat a Clarissa Shields? Anybody can be anybody. You know, I think Shadeja has been waiting for this moment for herself. As a fighter and as women, when we're, at, when we're given the opportunity to take advantage, we've been fighting for a long time. We've been waiting for that time. So I think Shadeja, she's hungry. So I think how she looks in this fight, you know, can potentially get a fight with Savannah and then Clarissa. You have to go through the opponents that Clarissa fought to right. get to Clarissa. She's not just going to give you a fight, that's for sure. Fair enough. Okay, so when are we seeing you again? Are we going to see you again in 2023? or do you, you are going to see me really? again. Really? Yes. Okay. So I want to I be out um, in fall. I want to be out in October if we can. I like to stay busy. I'm in the gym, always active. So if we can get back in October, I would love it. Okay. And who's the dream opponent? Who's the dream slash realistic opponent for you October? Know, honestly, I have my mandatory, and we know who that is. That's Choi. I've been wanting her for quite some time. You know, she kind of had messed some things up, but... Now she she fought when I fought. So I'm like, why not fight her? You know, for me, that's a that's another great performance to show the world. I love it. Okay. And perhaps back home? In and back home. Oh, maybe, yeah. Honestly, I want to go to Vegas. Okay. I want to go to Vegas. T-Mobile? MGM T Graham? Yes. Okay. MGM Graham. Um, or New York. They love me in New York. I want to be able to go all around the world, you know, in the States. You know, we fought in the UK quite a few times. Right. Are you freezing right now, by the way? I mean, no, you're freaking I'm, jacked. I saw you one time when they put you on camera before your fight, and I think you were, you were sitting next to your manager, correct me if I'm wrong, and I was like, oh, my God. You can, uh, you can scare a lot of people if they were walking down a, you know, a dark alley or something like that. Yeah. I love the relationship, by the way, that you have with friend of the program, Sky Nicholson. It seems yeah. like you've, uh, you've kind of like put your arm around her and led, you know, shown her the way, so to speak. Uh, she obviously has some lofty goals. She chose not to go to the Olympics in the end. She's going to continue down her path. Does she have what it takes to be an undisputed champion like you? Absolutely. She has the mindset. You know, Sky is someone who's willing to learn, and I'm able to teach. So if I can be a helping hand, a voice, just to pass down something, so be it. But, you know, all these young girls who are coming up and wanting to be world champions are more than able, more than capable of doing it. They just have to continue to put the work in and hard work at right. that. Well, this has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, she is going to be working on the broadcast tomorrow on DAZN, DAZN pay-per-view, of course, Jake Paul versus Nathan Diaz. Do you have a pick for the main event? We have, I have Jake Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Jake Paul, he's hungry. He got a loss last time. He, he has redemption. He's ready to put it on Nate tomorrow. Okay. So we'll just have to see. Can't wait for it. Can't wait to work with her as well. Uh, this has been great. Really appreciate the time. Yes, all the best you. to you and congrats on all your success. Thank you. Thank there she you. is, the undisputed queen herself, the pride of Michigan, the one and only Alicia Bumgarner, who hopefully we see back in action come October. You could just put the uh, thing down. We're a very sort of loosey-goosey show here. It's not like pro TV like you're used to. <laughs>